These are two paragraphs with different amounts of line spacing. There are three ways to adjust line spacing in the Flutter text widget. So make sure you watch this video through to the end so that you can identify which way works best for you. This is the Flutter Coach and let's dive in. Let's start by defining some simple terms that we would be adjusting in order to modify line height. Here we have a line of text. The letters rest on an imaginary line which we call a baseline. The space above the baseline is called the ascent and the space below the baseline is called the descent. The ascent plus the descent gives the font size. With multiple lines of text, the space between the bottom of the descent of one line and the top of the ascent of the next line is known as leading. It gets its name from the pieces of lead metal that were used in hand typesetting to separate lines of text. For each line of text, the leading is split into two. One part goes above the ascent and the other part goes below the descent. The leading above the ascent plus the ascent plus the descent plus the leading below the descent gives the strut. Now that we have defined these terms, let's look at how to adjust line spacing. The first way of adjusting line spacing is through the height property of text style. For this demonstration, we shall be using a single line of text inside a colored container that will allow us to see what happens as we adjust the line spacing. So this is the line of text and right below this line of text, we shall add the text style property. One of the properties of text style, as we can see by holding down control and space bar, is height. Whatever number we put inside this property, because this property takes a double, Whatever we put inside this property is going to be multiplied by the font size of the text and that will be the line height. So if we put in a value like 1 and rebuild, let's see what we have. There is our text. Let's replace the value with a different one. Let's go with 1.5 and see. We now have greater line spacing in our paragraph. Let's try a different value. Let's put in the value 2 and rebuild that. We have even greater line spacing now. Keep in mind that if you put in a line spacing value that is below 1, you can have text that overlaps. Let's put in a value 0 0.5. We now have lines of text that overlap. This is because the line height that we've assigned is just not enough for the text to fit. The second way of adjusting line height is through the height property of the strap style. Whatever value we put in, will be multiplied by the default line height of the font. The difference between this and the text style property is that in the text style property, the height value was being multiplied by the font size to get our line height. But this time around, the value of the height that we put in will be multiplied by the default line height that was set by the design of the font. So if we put in a value like 1 and rebuild, this is what we end up with. This is the default line height. Let's try a different value, 1.5. As you can see, we have more line spacing. A different value like 2. Again, we have even more line spacing. Now, one thing to note about strat style is that if you put in a value below 0 0.5, you will have no change. That means the effect of overlapping that we had in the text style property does not apply to strat style. Let's put in the value 0 0.5 and see what happens. The height that we now have is similar to the height that we'd have had if we'd had put in the value 1. Let's put in the value 1. As you can see, there is no difference between 1 and 0 0.5. So if you want to make sure that you do not have overlapping by accident in your paragraphs, then strat style is the way to go. The third way we can modify line height is through the leading property of strat style. Whatever value we put in here will be multiplied by the font size and then added as leading. So bear in mind that we are adding additional leading to the line height. Let's put in the value 1. Just so you can appreciate what this property does, let's first build this without the strut style and then add the leading and see the difference. Here is our text without the leading property. Let's go and add the leading. And now our text has way more line spacing. This is because leading that is equal to the font size has been added to the text. Let's go change the value of the leading to 1.2 and see what happens. We now have even more line spacing. Let's try a smaller value this time. And now 
the line spacing is much smaller. So those are the three ways that you can adjust line spacing in the text widget in Flutter. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And also if you have enjoyed this video and have found value in it, please do like the video and consider subscribing to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you can get updated every time I post a new video. This has been the Flutter Coach and I'll see you in the next one.